This is video two, continuing from creating a sample database in the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio application. So we've already created our database, and next we need to fill the database. We can do this multiple ways. One, we can do it the slow way, where we come underneath here, we expand the sample database we have, we expand the tables, we right click on the word table, and then say new table, and we fill out the data. Or, as most of you probably already do ahead of time, is you create your own custom SQL query where you define your table name, which you can do up here, say use, and then in square brackets, the table name, or sorry, database name, so use database name, and then you generate a query where it's create table and you state what the table is. So this one is going to be called states. It's going to have a state code and a state name, and then insert, and we say the table name, and then whatever the columns are and the values and all the way down the same thing happens for our generate residence and our generate key card so to do this what we do first is we select our sample database and then we click on file open file and then we find the query we, or sql file open it and then just to confirm that we have the correct database, a good thing to do is actually to delete the database name where it says use and then start typing the first letter of the database you want. Notice that Microsoft or this application, this server management studio, gives you an option. Do you mean MSDB? Do you mean sample or visual basic? I mean sample. So it fills it in. If I save it, it actually saves that document. Even if it's open, it'll reconfirm that you made changes. And then, we, uh, then what we do is we click on the Execute button or press F5. Give it a second, it executes the query. And if you have an error, error it'll let you know. Next, let's continue with the rest of the queries. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another query. So this time, let's generate the states. Let's make sure again that we want the sample. execute the query. All the rows have been executed. Let's close that out and let's do our last one. Open, file, sample is good, but let's just confirm again in case I misspelled something. Double click, confirm, save, execute, execution successfully. Continue on with the next video to see how the tables show up and we can actually see the data in the SQL requests.